Hi, let's talk about window and level and some tips for radiology. Here on the top right, us old school techs remember what we call a hot light. This is the original window level, which controlled brightness for our overexposed films. I remember many of times an emergency room physician trying to hot light to see C7 to clear a collar or a surgeon to see a needle placement from the OR. This was a way that we can control making our image appear brighter than they originally are. Radiologists would also use this when they were reading and dictating the images. However, many techs think there was not a way to make an image darker using an old film x-ray duplicator you can see here on the left. If you were to take a low exposed, underexposed image, place it on the x-ray duplicator, you can actually change the density and make the image appear darker. It was not ideal, it was not great um, for patient care and for diagnosing an image, but it was great for needle placement in the OR. So why does it matter so much in the digital world? Remember in the past, we had such a narrow latitude of exposure making the image lighter or darker was definitely a challenge. However, today with the reprocessing and rescaling and the lookup tables, there's a much wider latitude of range. Our areas as technologists here on the left has a little bit more light than a radiologist reading room. The monitors that we use need to be a, a 1K monitor standard or greater. Radiologists, however, their requirement is at least a 4K monitor and it needs to be a 5K monitor if they are reading mammograms. Remember with all the 256 shades of gray, the human eye can technically only see around 30 or so uh, grayscale values. But there are things that we need to consider when looking at an image after we expose it. We need to look to see if there is little motion, make sure there is very little, if any, quantum model, and the image is sharp and crisp. So an easy tip to remember window and level is to think of looking from the outside of a window, looking into that window, and you see Will Smith. Now, when you think of this concept, think of Will Smith as being your image, the x-ray, the final result. Where you're standing is on the outside of that window, and think of a bright sun shining in through that window at Will Smith. Depending on how bright that sun is will determine how light or dark our overall x-ray will be. So when you think of window level, think of a physical construction level. That construction level will take place of this shade that is on the left. So when you raise and lower the shade, think of raising or lowering the level. And not only the level, but the size of that level. Let me show you a video of what I mean. When you increase the window level or raise the level shade up, it allows more light to enter. And this will be an increase in image brightness. This has a direct relationship. So when you decrease your window level, lowering the shade level back down, it allows less light to enter. And there's going to be a decrease in image brightness. Again, window level has a direct relationship. So now let's talk about window width. And for window width, let's think about these tall vertical shades that are on a very large window to a house or double doors. The blinds or the shades will go in from left to right, closing in on the center, very similar to collimation. Now this is the important part. Remember, Will Smith is on the other end of that window. And if you have light bright white on the left and pure dark on the right look at the color swatch below with the many shades of gray and this window width is controlling the contrast if you look at the swatch below this is a long scale contrast however if you close in the shades from left to right just as they are on will smith 
you are cutting out the very bright range of those rays, the pure white, the next one, and the next one, leaving the center grays. And you're also cutting out the highest end of that spectrum, the darker blacks and the darker grays, leaving only the center. This is very similar to collimation. Now let's look at an image that you most likely have probably seen in school. If you look on the left, again, there's all pixels, bright white, no contrast. On the far right, you have all pixels dark, which is black, no contrast. The best contrast is going to be where? In the center of that image. So again, let's overlap this with our window width example of our shade. When you close in and close off those bright white and those dark black area of pixels, you are left with an image with better contrast. So with Will Smith being in the center and have those curtain or shades closing in, you can say this is going to be a very high contrast study. However, if you open up the shades and obtain more whites and obtain more blacks, it's going to be a very long scale, low contrast study. So window width, the shades going wide from side to side is our contrast. So window width has a indirect relationship. This is different from window level. As window width decreases, you close in the curtain, your contrast is going to increase, creating a shorter scale image. As window width increases, your curtains open up, your contrast is going to decrease, making it more long scale. So let's review. Window level, is your brightness. This has a direct relationship. So as window level increases, your image brightness increases. Remember, you are increasing your shade, which will allow more light in. Window width is your contrast. This has a indirect relationship. Remember, having a narrow window width is high contrast, short scale. This is closing in the curtains into the middle. Having a wider window width is low scale, long scale contrast. Open up the curtains to allow more shades of grays. So in closing, remember, no longer can technologists look at an image on a workstation and say that's good by checking the quality. With all the image rescaling, the processing, lookup tables, the days of film are gone. The only way, the only way, absolute only way to critique an image now is by looking at the index, the DI, the S number, and making sure it is in, within range for your system. That is the only way. Remember, the human eye can visualize around 30 shades of gray, where the photon beam that leaves the patient encompasses over a thousand different variations. By adjusting the window and level, the technologist can make all 65,636 shades of gray visible. The text should set the correct technique prior to exposing to obtain the best image rather than adjusting the window level post-processing. This should only be left to the radiologist to adjust. The visibility of the image has always been the result of proper exposure to the IR. Image brightness and contrast are primarily determined by the software lookup tables rather than exposure. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any ideas for future videos, please let us know. Remember, always advance, never repeat.